The Senate Committee on Labor and Social Welfare was on Wednesday forced to eject First Choice Recruitment Agency founder and director Judy Jep Chirchir for what it termed as arrogance. Jep Chirchir came under fire for allegedly declining to rescind remarks she made against some committee members accusing them of being biased. The agency has been accused of defrauding job seekers of their money by promising to give them lucrative jobs in the Gulf. Here now is NTV's Brian Mushiri with the details. Judy Jepchirchir, the founder and director of the adult-based First Choice Recruitment and Consultancy Agency, appeared before the Senate Labor Committee to answer and clear the air over claims of defrauding job seekers' money on pretense of offering them jobs abroad. However, in a dramatic turn of events, Jeb Chirchir seemed to play victim, calling out the committee for what she termed as being biased, something that enraged the senators who demanded that she retract her remarks, which she declined. That whatever we wrote in that letter, yes, is something we wrote without due consideration. It will be an indictment to us. Point of order, Chair, I think the, the, the council has refused to withdraw and apologize. Yeah. Then we don't listen to him. He should be thrown out. That is the procedure of the House. The director was then forced to prematurely leave the seating. The senators were left mulling over who exactly the first choice boss is seeing that up to date she has not been called in for questioning. The president has said three things that for the cartels and corrupt they will not have a space in this country. They either go to the jail, go to heaven or leave this country. Because cartels from sugar sector, from recruitment agencies, corruption in counties, corruption in executive, corruption anywhere, the president is committed in fighting corruption and conmanship of our people. Nevertheless, the meeting went on with the victims narrating how they lost their monies. She told us she will take us to Australia to study in Perth. And we managed to my we managed to pay eight hundred thousand, and um, most of us we paid eight hundred thousand. Some sold their lands, some sold their properties. As I speak, I lost my parents through this, following this money for recovery. The committee heard that the recruitment agency had branches in Nakuru, Eldoret, and Nairobi. The victims also claim they have been harassed by unknown people after speaking about the scandal. In an interview with NTV earlier, Jeb Chirchir absolved herself from the allegations. I continue recruiting, but there's no advert that I've said, kindly resign or leave whatever you are doing and come and give you a job. That's a total lie. So we stand kinded. We want to we provide opportunities for those people who don't have jobs. Brian Mushiri. NTV Nairobi